What's up guys, this is Fair Editing here with a Cinema 4D tutorial this time. Um, <clears throat> and I'll be teaching you how to make a sort of a rope effect. Um, like a dangling rope. So like, say a rope off a helicopter. And it's just hanging there in midair and then people come down it and shit. So um, yeah, first of all, um, you're probably going to think it's weird doing it this way. But this is um, how you do it. So first of all you just want to get a triangle and you just want to size it similar to mine. Eh, it can be anything as long as there's a points on top. What you want to do is um, you want to just bring that up and rotate that 180. So it's like this. Just add a floor and add a sphere. A sphere. Turn the radius down to something like that. And bring it up onto to about it's about here. That would do. And then you want to come into like say the front view or whatever, and pick up a linear spline and click there and there. So you've created a spline in between both objects on each point. <clears throat> and then once you've done that. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Bit of pain in my chest. But yeah, um, after you've done it, you want to go to um, Spline. You want to right click, go to Hair Tags, Constraint. No, don't do that yet. Go to the Spline, select this button, go to Meh, uh, Subdivide, and you can um, do that a few times. Or if it comes up with the amount of numbers, you can do to about 25. Mine doesn't do that, so I just do it to a certain amount. I keep forgetting where it is. That'll do. Just so, and you'll see why. You you'd need quite a lot for a nice smooth rope effect. So then, what you want to do? You want to click on the top one, right click, hair tags constraint, and then you want to link it, sort of the top point to the the pyramid, so it sort of connects onto it. So you grab the pyramid bring it down into the object and click set and it'll come up with a little red sort of point at the top that shows it's connected and then you want to do the same select the bottom and link it to the sphere so you would need to create another constraint add the sphere and set so we're all, we're all set we got both of them connected um, and then you right click the spline go to head tags again and go to spline dynamics and then if you, as you can see, as you can see, okay, it's not actually showing it yet, but what I'll do is for the sphere, I will add a composition tag, seen by camera, and I'm gonna change, put that onto the the floor, pyramid, and sphere. Well, you might not want to do it on the floor. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it on the floor. I'll leave that as because I was I'll add a light. Sorry. Um, so you can see. Bring that all the way up there. And what you want to do is you want to right-click the sphere, go to simulation tags, and add a rigid body. You want to do that on both the floor and the sphere. So then, if I start from the beginning. Okay, this isn't going how I want it to. Yeah, it is. There we go. It's sort of a, a rope effect, but it shouldn't really do that, to be honest. With you. If I try it from down here. Nope. Maybe if I turn it like that. There we go. Maybe if you just sort of put it out to the side slightly. And you can drop it, and then you sort of got like a sort of a a wiggly line type rope effect. Um, and to make this, if you render it, there's basically nothing here because I've turned the pyramid and sphere off, and this is only a spline for now. So if you want to come up to it and add a sweep nerves and put the spline in that, 
and then get a circle, uh, a circle spline, and put that in as well. And as you can see, it's pretty massive. So you just have to turn the radius down, and that will give you this like sort of rope effect. And then there you go. You render it out. You may just want to add a little texture onto it, which I'll just quickly do now because I've used that in one of my videos, my recent video. So I've put it on the spline. Maybe if we take a the light out just so you can see the the rope looks kind of funny if you don't notice or no, don't know this already if you come to like length V and you can hit that up um, make it smaller and that does look a bit more like a rope you know it's not, not perfect but nothing is perfect in this world so so yeah there we go let me just write up from the beginning again And then you can adjust some settings. I don't, if you, you know, I don't know much about rigid bodies and gravity and that yet. But I suppose you can find another tutorial on YouTube on how to, you know, make I don't know the ball roll a little bit more. Maybe I can just turn the floor a little bit on a diagonal. See what happens here. It's probably going to start rolling. Yeah, you can just try lots of things. But that is how you do the rope effect. Um. And that's where I got, I got that from another tutorial. So I hope this helped. Um, I mean, I know it's not a perfect rope, but you know, it it will do. It done me for my uh, for my, for my use. <clears throat> so um, please give a like, uh, the video a like and comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and check out some more tutorials. Peace.